Hey, this is Yavage right here, aka Coasty. Welcome back to my adventures. And check out all these, I think they're mountain laurel blooms. It's just like literally a forest of them, if I can do well to show you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we left uh, camp a little late this morning. Oh, look at this. Just right there. You got some purples and some whites and some pinks. Oh, it's pretty. It's nice to see blooms again. But uh, yeah, we left camp a little late today. We left around 10 o'clock this morning. Rain showered all night. We're at uh, we're at mile. We're almost at the 1500 mile mark, I believe, and uh, almost done with Connecticut. So onward to Mass. Uh, we should be there probably tomorrow, uh, depending on how far we get today. Just kind of moving a little sluggish this morning. Uh, I don't know why, but. I think it's just the weather. This kind of weather, you just want to crawl in your bed and stay there all day. But, got to get some miles in, I guess. <laughs> so if you look around, all these trees, it looks like we're back in springtime. All these trees, they're not dead. These trees are just stripped from all these caterpillars that are out here. They're an invasive species. They turn into the what? The gypsy moths. The gypsy moths. And they just, they just eat all these trees alive. It's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. Nice little view for the morning. You can see what a lovely Coast Guard day it is today. Luckily it's not hot, wind's calm. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty boring day. <laughs> all right, so uh, pretty major, uh, Thing here, 700 miles to Katahdin. Only 700 miles. That's it. That's all I got. And I'm done. Do you win? Okay, look at this. Look at this waterfall. Oh, check that out. This is probably one of the best falls on trail. Oh, I wish I could camp here. This is awesome. All right, look at this. This is the top of the falls. They got some power going on up there. This is cool. Real cool. I don't think we're going to be able to camp, though, unfortunately. All right, so we uh, had another later start tonight, and this morning, and uh, got out of camp around 10. We were like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 off trail, and when we got on trail, so we kind of came in when it was a little dark out. Uh, we didn't know which way to go. And it just ha so happened that, like, we've been following the trail, like, northeast for, I don't know, forever. And this part, like, this little section is, like, going more, like, southwest, west-southwest. So when we got on the trail, we headed northeast-ish until we ran into a buddy of ours who was actually going north and we were going south. And here we are walking. Now I've walked over a mile and have gone nowhere. We haven't gotten back to where we started yet. So, what a great start to a wonderful, beautiful day. I'll tell you what. Uh, check out this view. This is, we would have seen this 30 minutes ago. <laughs> that is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Out. All right, leaving Salisbury, uh, Connecticut. Uh, these lunch breaks keep getting longer and longer. I think this one's a lunch. <laughs> It's a brunch, lunch, dinner break, you know, whatever, you know, whatever. So, gotta hike three more miles to the next shelter. I don't know if we're gonna be leaving uh, Connecticut today. So, we'll definitely be there, to, we'll definitely be in Mass tomorrow. Definitely, yeah, most definitely. Check out this. This is why sometimes you gotta just stay in town and drink a few beers, cause I would miss this. This is incredible, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So I was too busy admiring that last view that we got. Walked point two and missed the, the sunset, but that is still a gorgeous, another gorgeous view. What a wonderful day to end this night, or this evening, day, whatever. Whew. All right, another, another late start this morning, but I think we're only, the way the, the terrain works out, I think we're only going to be able to do like 10 miles today, so... <laughs> He's either that or I get 18 to a town that we don't want to stay at. So I think we're just going to do the 10 and go on from there. But we will actually be 
in Massachusetts today. <laughs> Yay. Well, at least these caterpillars haven't eaten the, the blooms and all the pretty things because there is caterpillar poop everywhere and it's really gross and annoying because you don't have a caterpillar, or a caterpillar on you, you have a caterpillar poop on you somewhere, I promise you that. Another great view. Oh man, this is a, the last view in Connecticut. I think it's the tallest point on trail in Connecticut too. So let's soak it up here for a minute and cross on over to Massachusetts. All right, leaving Connecticut. <sighs> Only took, you know, like forever, but finally in mass. Can't wait to get this party started. Another state I haven't been to. In fact, the rest of them on, uh, from here on out I haven't been to. So pretty excited about seeing them. Let's see what it has to offer. Just traveling down some a creek. It's been nothing but beautiful through here. It's uh, uh something's ravine, but it, it, it actually reminds me a lot of North Alabama. But it's just a lot of white water, a little creek, a little waterfall. Beautiful. All right, so the trail goes along this ridge up to there, but this is the view you get the entire way. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Don't fall. All right, so that's where we came. We're on Mount Race. I forget what the mountain that was. But then you see Mount Everett right there. Oh, yeah. All right, finally leaving camp this morning. A little, a little later than normal, 1030. Uh, we had some uh, trail magic last night at this campsite. Uh, so... Actually, uh, somebody made us some like taco salad stuff, which is really good. And then uh, another lady brought a bunch of beers. So we just, it was the first time we got to have a campfire and like what feels like months. And so we sat around the campfire, just drank some beer and had a good time. So uh, this morning we all slept in a little bit, a little bit more. Um, but also today's my birthday, so. It's gonna do 37 miles, but that is not gonna work out. So I, th so I think we're going to um, just do like maybe 14. I don't know. We're, we're near Great Barringer, Barrington, Great, Great something with a B, and uh, we're gonna so be the first town in Massachusetts. And I've never been to Massachusetts, so it's gonna be. I just wanna go see what's in town, and uh, here, here there's a really nice restaurant, so might uh might have to go get a birthday town dinner <laughs> so we'll see we'll see how it goes another great view massachusetts is actually it's been pretty nice and uh got some we actually have some switchbacks but it's all rock until it's not luckily it's not wet out Whew. that view though so uh this is the last battle of shade rebellion um pretty pretty interesting read if you uh if you're, if you're interested in a history lesson, go, go check out uh, what they what they were doing there. Yeah. Best birthday ever. Okay, there's an uh, eagle flying around. I can't. Oh, my. There it is. Look at that. That's an eagle. Eagle baby. America. America. All right, pulling into Fiddlehead's Grill for a little birthday uh, drink, maybe. Maybe dinner, maybe, I don't know. Maybe they'll let us camp in the back here. <laughs> All right, it's my birthday. We got some beer. Cheers and I'm with my buddy Cobra and Boxer. So I appreciate y'all. I mean, this, this is my kind of beer. <laughs> All right, it's been a great birthday, but they wouldn't let us camp there. So we got to figure out something. So we're like seven miles from the closest camping spot. Um, or like, ah, just a drive away from a very expensive hotel. So we're going to walk seven more miles, you know, be there by nine, 10 o'clock. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But look at the farm. Ooh, so we, we are climbing a mountain. We couldn't camp anywhere, but I don't know if you can hear it, but we're being serenaded by a local band. They're playing free falling right now. So that's pretty good. I mean, we're miles away, climbing a mountain. It's fine. It's fine. It's fun. Feels good. It's nice to listen to some live music while hiking. 
Huh? When are you gonna say you can do that, huh? Check out this view. That is a great birthday sunset view. Look at that. Golly. Oh, I believe those are the mountains we've crossed. Maybe, I don't know. Try not to fall off this one. <laughs> Another uh, good morning and late start. <laughs> uh, we, we did get to camp last night. Did seven miles in like two hours. It was great, especially after a couple of drinks. And it was a uh, like a thousand foot climb. It was, it was pretty tough. Uh, well, we made it. Got got to sleep in my tent last night. So, um, but don't know what we're gonna do today. I think we're gonna do another short day today and try to go play in some water somewhere because it is gonna be another warm day. So, we'll see where this stays in Texas. Maybe uh, maybe we'll have another. Four or five trail magics again today. <laughs> Who knows? All right. <laughs> gotta, gotta go to a lake. Go swimming. Chilling out. Relaxing, eating some food. and About to get ready back on trail. So, good time. Nice little uh, mountain pond and mass. Yeehaw. Not as nice as the first one I swam in today, but... <laughs> Definitely a little more secluded. Do you see this guy? He's chilling on the tree there. Huh. Is that a woodchuck? How much wood can a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He's just chilling. Oh, stupid camera. Yeah, he is not ready for his debut. He is hugging that tree like there is. No one want like, oh. If I just sit still, can't see me. Yeah, that's probably mean. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, I, he was gripping that tree like like his life depended on it, which I guess it did, but he looked like a big old boy that he shouldn't have been in the tree in the first place. <laughs> so I'm not an expert, but I think that's the beaver dam. It's definitely the water you don't want to drink from. Uh, and it's kind of dark. Yeah, it's got Giardia written all over it. Yeah, this is my kind of fire, <laughs> one that's real smoky. If you get if you get it smoky, it uh, helps clear all these bugs out, and we're like basically in a swamp. There's platforms and everything. I'm trying to keep these bugs down, they they just terrible, man. All right, so we're up this morning. It's like 6:41. Packed up camp already. Here's my bag. But uh, the settlement that we're I mean, this place that we're camped at is a settlement called the Shaker Settlement. And there's, uh, they're here for about a hundred years in this whole area. And they used to worship, uh, their Christian God by dance, which is, uh, quite interesting since, like, most southern, um, thing, I, you know, southern, like, Baptists and Pentecostals, they don't, they don't allow dancing at all, so it's crazy. <laughs> quite a difference. All right, 717 on trail. Look at that. See, I can do it. I can. I can do it. <sighs> but I think we're only going to do 10 miles a day. There's a, uh, we kind of stutter stepped um, the last couple days because there's a, uh, a shelter we wanted to go to that's like right on a pond that has like canoeing and stuff. I wish we would have gotten there yesterday. I could have gotten there yesterday. It was 21 miles. We wouldn't get there in time to like actually enjoy it. So. Today, though, is supposed to be a lot cooler. I don't know. So, and it's supposed to rain all morning, so we'll see how it goes. But this shelter, they, they cook, somebody, I guess the caretaker, cooks breakfast every morning. So, like, I don't know. We're, we'll find out and see if this is worth it or not. <laughs> but it's kind of nice to have a couple of easy days because I'm beat. Like, Foot hurts, leg hurts, body hurts, mind hurts, everything hurts. Uh, 651 miles to go. I'm falling apart. <laughs> All right, so we left early to pack up before the rain that we thought was coming at like 5 or 6. Well, it's now 9.30. It's finally starting to come down. So I think this is the first day it's, I've been out hiking in the rain since I've left my 
since I sent my rain jacket home. So see how this works out. I got, I do have a little 99 cent poncho if I think I need it, but so far I'm just wet because of sweat. So Whew. we'll see how it turns All out. Right, so we got here actually pretty early, uh, about 12:30. Got some lunch, but uh, we actually fin finagled some some pizza. Some guys had to go. There's a there's a pond out here. They had to take the canoes out on the pond and travel long distances to go get this pizza. But we had pizza tonight. So uh, got everything hanging up and drying. But uh, there's been a lot of people here coming in and out. We get pancakes in the morning. And I got my tent set up out back. And uh, we're just hanging out for the night. So when you lay in bed all day, you mess pancakes that are free. Uh, oh, well. So after the rain yesterday, when I pulled all my stuff out, so I keep my my liner and my sleeping bag and my pillow in here. Thinking this is a dry bag, I haven't really had a problem uh, at all. <laughs> Maybe, uh, but I haven't really been torrentially downpoured like I was on yesterday. There's already been a while, um, but water gets in through here, and my liner is what I put in here first. So like my liner's right here. It was completely soaked last night. Uh, luckily, when I went to bed, I was a little warm. I just laid my liner outside of my sleeping bag for a little bit, and then finally crawled in with, you know, the liner and the sleeping bag, and just zipped it up. And when I woke up this morning, I was completely dry. I was still warm. Ah, oh, it's great. I actually had a really good night's sleep last night, so pretty quiet. Uh, there's a interstate or a highway that's close by that, but there's just like so there's this like constant like wind noise i guess it almost sounds like sleeping next to a river uh because nobody's like honking their horns or anything so it's not too bad but uh but yeah so it was like quiet just it was nice slept good slept so good i miss pancakes so you know i was sleeping good so but anyways i think i'm packing up and i don't know where we're going today <sighs> all right finally had a productive day did uh it's actually like, like, I think trail miles is only like 17.6, but actual miles is closer to like 19, because that last shelter was 0.5, and this one's 0.3, and we did a blue blaze to a, the cookie lady, which was awesome. Great cookies. Highly recommend. Um, yeah, about to, about to get to camp. I want 0 0.2, 0 0.3 out. And then I'll get some water and set up camp and try to edit some videos and post them since I've been slacking on all fronts lately. So let me get let me get going and I'll do all these things. So we're just pulling into the town of Dalton and we're gonna stay here tonight. Took a nice easy three mile hike in. Just crossed the railroad tracks. I am about to go get some food, resupply, and then crash in a hotel room for the first time since Virginia? I don't know, one of the old, uh, I guess, factories or mill or something. Looks like they used to use the water for power. That's kind of cool. Right, so we took the zero. Well, I guess there's a Nero. We're finally leaving town. It's about 11.45 after eating a huge, huge sub. I didn't even finish it, it was too big. Ah, it was good, it was good. Check out this view. So I think, uh, I think that's tonight's problem. <laughs> All right, did, did a whopping 10 miles a day to the next town of Cheshire. And uh, gonna camp here, uh, at, they got a little community area. Gonna camp here tonight. And it begins our biggest climb since Virginia on what's gonna be a very warm day. Should be fun. Whew, eight o'clock in that sun. It's already killing me. Oh man, it's oppressive. Uh, anybody else wanna hike for me? <laughs> I just wanna go play in a pond. Check out this pond on top of this mountain with a little woohoo, little cabin there. Don't think I want to go swimming in it, but uh, it might get hot enough to where I might want to. <laughs> World War I uh, monument on top of, what is this mountain again? 
Greylock. I can't ever remember buildings or mountain names. Oh, pretty cool. I've never seen a World War One monument. Coming down Mount Greylock. Beautiful area. Really enjoyed it. And we ate lunch at the lodge there, which was a little overpriced, but wasn't too bad. But you can't see the views very well, but the views are amazing. So gotta gotta put my head down and get hiking so I can get out of this heat though. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just laying here in the tent. Cause I thought it was gonna rain last night at like 10 to like midnight. I think it did, but Rainy all morning, so yeah. <laughs> uh, things gonna wait here for another hour. Hopefully, it'll stop. Rain finally stopped, and uh, I'm about to get out of here. So, I got a friend in the next town, I think it's about 16 miles away, hoping to potentially stay with her for the night but see how this all works out so onward all right so you probably barely see it 1600 baby which means the vermont border should be somewhere over here we're close three more states I've never been to any of them should be fun should be fun all right, on the long trail now for, well, I think it's like 70 something miles, 100, oh yeah, it says it right there. Cause I can read <laughs> 105 miles of long trail going to, through Vermont. And then I, I think you, I think it's only like another hundred miles to finish it. So maybe we'll do that too. I just saw a porcupine. I thought those things were supposed to be small. I think it was bigger than the dog I just saw. I think it was like, I don't know. <sighs> I'm trying to think of get a... Hmm. I think it was huge. <laughs> but I couldn't get it. I couldn't get a picture of it one because I don't know anything about porcupines. I figured it might shoot a quill at me. It was huge, though. But he was in the bushes. Or it was in the bushes. and um, Yeah, I couldn't get a picture of it. Or a video of it, of course. I think it was huge, though. Huge. Good morning in Bennington, Vermont. Walking to go get some breakfast and uh, slept in a bed for the first time in like five weeks. No big deal. It was great. It was great. Glorious. I woke up and nothing hurt. It was weird. Oh, all right, so I've met with all my friends here yeah. and we're all here. We're all, everybody, <laughs> hey everybody, say hello to the camera. Hello, camera. Yeah. Okay, well, that was almost everybody, but you know. So we're just chilling on the van, driving around. Good day. <laughs> All right, so for the 4th of July, we had a lot of fun. We got to see the, the trailing once again. I didn't get much footage because I didn't really do anything but just hang out in a hotel room and drive a lot of, <laughs> a lot of different places. So uh, our plans for this evening kind of fell through. And now I'm back on trail by myself, 100 miles, yeah, 20 to, or 40 to 100 miles back from everybody else. So I got like a mile and a half to go. It's 420 right now. And uh, yeah, forward to progress, I think. <laughs> All right, so I did my 1.6 today in my tent because it's raining. It's good to see all my friends. Uh, probably last time I'll see them. I don't think I'll catch up to him again. So, because uh, Pesto is 100 miles ahead, and uh, Catfish and Mispatch like 120 miles ahead, and then uh, Jeff is, uh, I think he's, he, I might, I'll probably catch up to him. He's like 30 miles, 30 or 40 miles ahead. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm in my tent, about to finish setting up my bed, and probably go to bed. It's, it's only 6.30, but I'm exhausted, and it's raining, and what else is there to do, so. All right, still in the tent. Everything's soaked, but well, not really. I'll actually 
fairly dry and inside i do have a puddle in my tent i don't know if you saw that um i need a new tent i'm 40 miles away from town <laughs> 1.5 if i backtrack <laughs> uh i have like low on food because i eat all my food in town i wouldn't so i wouldn't plan on being uh, uh back on trail this last night but uh i mean i'm glad i'm out here but it's uh I did not set myself up for success, so as I sit here and struggle with my thoughts and my plan for the next two days, because uh, I got 40 miles from that town, so I've got to figure something out. I, 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 think I, can st I don't think it's supposed to rain tonight, so I think I'm fine for a couple of days, but i got to get in town and <laughs> rethink my, my plan here, but... Um, I should be fine. I should be fine. So tune in next time because I'm closing this video out. <laughs> so thanks for all the likes. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for all the subscriptions. Thanks for everything. Y'all been great. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you'll find me in, in a better place next time. Till then, I'll see y'all on the trip.